Hello there. This is the Kerbal Space Program. It's not going to be a Let's Play or a Let's Fly. Um, what I'm doing here is actually a tutorial. Um, C7, which I gather stands is short for Cloud7, is the guy who created uh, the, uh, the aviation pack C7 Aerospace. Modded parts in this game which lets you build space planes, aircraft, wings. Uh, Mr. C7 here, he contacted me. He asked me if I would be interested in putting together some kind of a tutorial for people that are, are having trouble figuring out how to use this pack, this modded parts that he put that he put together here. Uh, I, I said, sure, that sounds like fun. I've been thinking about uh, trying to do more of a tutorial kind of thing anyway. So yeah, the the we'll get back to the regular the story of the the let's fly later. So right now I'm thinking my, my target audience here is somebody that might be interested in this tutorial. I'm, I'm assuming that you already have a basic familiarity with Kerbal Space Program using the, uh, you already know how to get into orbit with rockets. Um, I'm thinking that you might not be all that familiar with aircraft. Maybe you've tried out this pack in the past. Maybe you've tried to put an airplane together and it's gone out of control and it's crashed and you might be a little bit discouraged about that. Or maybe uh, maybe you're just trying out the pack for the first time and, and uh, you're just looking for a little bit of guidance of, of how to get started with this. So what we're going to do here, I'm, I'm just going to go step by step through making, uh, I figured out a uh, an airplane with the C7 pack that is very stable, it's easy to fly, it's easy to land. I'm going to go step by step putting it together, take off, fly around, land it, uh, so you get some practice with, with a vehicle that I know will work. Uh, and I know that if somebody isn't really too familiar with aircraft, I know you probably don't own a joystick, so we're going to do all this with the keyboard here. Okay, first thing, we've got the C7's cockpit here, that's our capsule. What I want to do next over here, the standard fuselage that carries fuel for space planes. This thing here, I'm going to put four of them in a row. Anybody that's seen my Let's Fly series will notice that this is not exactly the same thing as the vehicle I started out with. I have a slightly ex extra size will make it a little bit more stable. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the C7, the aerospace engine on the back of that thing. Okay, next step, come over here. I want to go to structural and aerodynamic. Um, we're gonna, gonna make this a delta wing design. In order to have the wings, uh, in order to, to spread the lift out over the entire length of the vehicle. So what I want first is this vaguely wing-shaped board over here. Let's go ahead and turn the two-way symmetry on. And put this right at the back. I want to line, here, let's zoom in a little bit. Line the trailing edge of this up with the back up so it's right even with the engine. Yeah, that works. Next step, this over here, the, uh, what is the description? The wing has been constructed of surplus wing components. This just a kind of a basic triangle here. I'm going to match that up with the very front of our rectangle piece. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. Okay. Next step. Standard Delta configuration wings. Still got the two-way symmetry turned on. Let's go ahead and put those out here. Let's line that back edge up. Okay, yeah, there's a standard good old delta wing aircraft. Uh, let's turn that two-way symmetry off. Go back to just single-way symmetry because it also needs a tail fin. Here we are. Tail fin has passed extensive modeling in our patented PAS system, paper airplane simulation. Uh, just a couple of the testing. I did. There's one thing that we're going to do here. I I tried. It, this airplane will work with just a single tail fin in the middle. However, it um, our extra length, our extra mass, our extra uh, wing area 
a single tail fin, it isn't quite as stable as it could be. So I'm actually going to put this over here. Let me see. We're going to do two of these. They're going to be angled to be kind of a, a double rudder design. Try and make that as symmetrical as possible. Okay. Okay. Now, it's, let me tell you what, while I'm thinking of it right here, let's put some wheels on this thing. So we're here. Our gear C, central wheel. Let's put that as far forward as it will go on the center line, but to make certain that it's not actually penetrating into the part. There we go. And then we take these here. I want to put this one. I'm going to put it... Hang on here. Let me zoom in so we can get this as symmetrical both sides as possible. I'm going to try to line that up with the with this dark line right here where the two different parts meet. And that back edge. There we go. And put this one exactly the same spot on the other side. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's starting to look like an airplane, huh? Now, uh, now I'm wanting to think about some control for this. Um, we're doing a delta wing, a canard design. Pay attention here. This is something that may not be uh, perfectly obvious. If it, it's it's actually kind of counterintuitive. What you would want to do. The natural thing to do, you come over here and get this canard design, this uh, controllable canard, and you're thinking that you want to have, have two of these, one on each side, and you want them to be symmetrical. So you want to turn that two-way symmetry on, right? Wait, stop. Don't do it. Do not turn symmetry on for the canards. The reason for this, the way the code in the game works, when you've got uh, control surfaces here, if you have two-way symmetry turned on, then the control surfaces will work as ailerons, meaning that whenever uh, you roll, one control surface will move up and the other control surface will move down. If you have the symmetry turned off, then these will function as elevators or rudders, meaning whenever you pitch up or yaw left and right, then they will both of these will move in the same direction. And the, whoops, that's nowhere even close to being in the right line, huh? Let's get that more like that. Trying to make that look. Yeah, that looks pretty symmetrical. I think. Hang on, that's not really quite matching up, is it? Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Hanging out there with a little bit of a gap. Okay, come on. We can do this. Wow! All right. Eighth time is the charm. Ninth time is the charm. Tenth time is the charm, right? Uh, that's pretty close. Now I want to move the other one up forward just a little bit. Yeah, okay. That'll work. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. Okay, so these are two controllable canards are put together with the uh, no, the symmetry turned off. These will both work as elevators. Whenever I pitch up or pitch down, you'll see both of these control surfaces move as one. Now, I'm going to turn the two-way symmetry on. What we want here is the first of this control surface over here, flight surfaces, guaranteed to operate while attached to the craft. Two-way symmetry turned on for these guys. Put them over here. It's lined up on the back of that wing. There's our ailerons. You only want to have one pair of aileron on any particular aircraft. Uh, I think this is where a lot of people have problems. It, it, it just seems natural to turn that symmetry on. But if you have multiple control surfaces acting as ailerons on the same vehicle, what will happen is you roll, you want to roll, and the thing, it'll just snap roll. It'll, it'll snap over, uh, it'll roll way too fast. It'll be incredibly difficult to control. It'll, it'll just spin, and it'll spin, crash, and die. 
Okay, almost done with this vehicle. What do I want over here? This little guy, C7 CS Mini. Feel the need to attach an elevator rudder elevon to just about any darn surface you can get your mitts on? This part is for you. That's what I want. Let's put a couple of rudders. One rudder on each. Oops, let's make that look nice. A rudder on each of our tail fins here. Okay. There is a completed basic airplane. So what am I going to call this thing? Since the whole... I think I'm going to call this Trainer 1. And let's save it. Yep, that works. Okay, let's launch and let's fly. <laughs> 